Hi, this is Andrew from AquaponicsSystems.com and in this video I'm going to show you how I constructed the base for my fiberglass fish tank. The fish tank itself is one of Murray Hallam's designs from Aquaponics Made Easy. It's a 1200 litre tank and the base we're going to be creating is a 1.2 metre by 1 metre base. The base is really important to get right for your tank um, and it's important obviously to get really level. I'll be making the base out of blocks and sitting on top of the blocks will be 70 millimeter thick sleepers. This is the area where the fish tank will go. It's behind my garage and is already covered. There's enough room here for two of these tanks and hopefully in the future I'll install another one. The first thing I did was clear away the existing pebbles just pushing them aside. The blocks themselves are going to be sitting on a base of crusher dust. Crusher dust is an excellent because it's cheap, uh, it's easy to get anywhere and it compacts down. So you can easily spread it, whack it down with something heavy like a piece of wood to compact it and then place the block on top of that. This is what the crusher dust looks like. You can buy it in bags from your local landscaping supply place. It has a couple of different names but it's all the same stuff. I wouldn't use sand under the block simply because it washes out way too easily. I made my measurements out from the garage wall as I wanted to, the tank to run parallel to the wall and relatively close to it. So I made the measurements and then hammered in some stakes into place then attached a string line to the stakes. You can see that the stakes are placed past the corners. This means that where the string lines intersect gives me the corner. After placing the first block, you can then get a height for the top of the string line. This allows you to easily set the height for all of the future blocks. You can see here a level that you can attach to the string line. This allows you to get the string line level. Make sure that you keep the string line really tight when you've got this level, otherwise it's uh, not going to be accurate. Make sure you are always checking the levels. I found a mallet useful to make some minor adjustments and my foot to make some slightly larger ones. Like if I had to make one end lower, I would just give it a bit of a whack with my foot. Once I got a block level, I would then check it against another block putting the level across both of the blocks. Sometimes I had to make a few minor adjustments but most of the time I could get the heights correct thanks to the string line. If your blocks are level then placing the sleepers on the blocks the sleepers should be level as well. So if you place a sleeper on and then the level shows an issue then there may be an issue with the sleeper itself. It might be bowed or a different thickness at each end. These sleepers I'm using are 70mm thick hardwood. They come in 2.4m lengths, so cutting one in half will give me the 1.2m length I need. The first one I cut in half had one end which was less than the 70mm thick. I didn't notice this until I placed the sleeper which went widthways next to it. When I did that, it was then I noticed the difference in height between the two sleepers. This is just something to be wary of with using hardwood sleepers as they are only rough cut and may have issues like this. After I was happy that all of the blocks were fine and the sleepers were all good, I then raked the pebbles back up against the blocks so that they covered the crusher dust and gave a little support to the blocks. After the tank is filled, there will be over a tonne of weight pushing down so those blocks won't be moving anywhere. So that's it for the fish tank base. I hope this has been useful and if you have any questions, ask away. See ya.